Good morning, my name is Dave Robertson, operations trainee with Team 8. Today is Saturday, August 7th, and this is the briefing for the Devil's Knob incident. Starting up north, we've got two fires up here in the Division Bravo 431 fire. It's about five acres. We've got it completely lined. We're continuing to uh, get hose around it and mop it in. It's, uh, we're having good success with that one. It's not going anywhere. The Smith fire, uh, directly adjacent to it, um, is somewhere around 150 acres uh, due to lack of resources and the train it's in we're, we're kind of let and the activity that it's we're experiencing with it we're leaving it kind of to its own until we get some more resources and come up with a good plan on how we're going to attack that there's not very many values at risk around that so that's why we're leaving that one to on its own for a bit moving to the south down in division charlie uh, down off of jackson creek we have the mule fire mule fire is about 150 plus or minus acres We've got line most of the way around it. There's some indirect line that we need to do some cleanup on, but uh, we're feeling good about the, the activity that we've had on it and the lack of activity that we've had on it uh, from the fire. And we feel like we're getting ahead of that one. Moving down to Delta, the largest of the fires is the Hamlin fire. Um, we continue to construct line on that one. And we've had a couple spots, but we're, we're making pretty good progress. Unfortunately, uh, a little farther to the north in that the same division, we've got a couple fires that were small fires that got minimal attack during the initial stages of uh, IA and yesterday decided to st stand up and show themselves and are giving us some problems today. So we're going to be focusing some effort into those fires that are up in here. Moving down to Tango, to the little Applegate fire, uh, it's about 150 acres. We're about 80% lined on that, looking for some opportunities to find the, the best place to put the line to have the best con uh, control success. And that's continuing. Uh, the rest of the fires down in this area, Dismal, East Fork Dismal, uh, those are well all lined. They're in their final mop-up stages and uh, stages of being checked to make sure they're not gonna to move anymore. Moving into Division Whiskey, we've got the Section 30 fire. that's uh, lined. Uh, we did end up with a new spot off of it yesterday to the south, and, uh, but we're continuing to attack that and we're making good progress on that. It's also known as the railroad fire. In Division Zulu, the Wildcat fire is 100 to 150 acres. Um, it has moved, it's tried to move itself down into Cow Creek a bit, but we're trying to keep it out of there, and so far we're having good success with that. The Dismal and Dismal Panther are uh, also in, they're lined, um, completely contained, and we are continuing to mop those in. And then also some of the other small starts that we had during the initial storm, uh, we're continuing to finally mop those up and call them out. And that ends the briefing for today. Thanks.